Hello and welcome back to yet another live AMA session with Newton School. I know a lot of people who are watching this video live right now aspire to become the best front-end developer or software developer in tech in India. Rudev was one of those people who aspired and dreamed to become a great rock star uh, developer. And he ended up at Newton School and we are here to listen to his journey today. Uh, thanks a lot, Rude, to uh, you know make some time for us and join us today. Uh, yeah. We are grateful that you could spare this time with uh, for us. Uh, yeah, let's deep dive into a few questions. Um, we are excited to know your experience as well. I'm sure the audience is also excited, and you can uh, simply ask questions to Rude here on the live chat, um, and we'll take up uh, your questions very soon. So, Rude. Um, I'm a little curious to understand what was it that made you choose computer science? Um, were you always inclined towards computers? Did you always wanted to get into programming? And what was it that was kind of, you know, uh, pushing you to kind of take up computer programming in your future as well? Yeah, not exactly like programming or coding, but uh, from childhood, I was interested in computers, like uh, learning about them uh, using some something like uh, and then uh, uh, I, I like I fixed that uh, I have to do something about computers in my life. So uh, then I took up uh, BTEC uh, in computer science. Uh, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So you said that you 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 did your BTEC in computer science, and you know um, you were. Um, in, in this lot of people who are doing, uh, who are studying from different colleges, how did you end up at Newton School then? Yeah, actually like uh, uh, in BTEC, uh, I, I couldn't learn much. Uh, and like after BTEC, I came to know that there is uh, like expectations from the companies and uh, what I've learned is not, not enough. So I took up a course. Uh, but that was like a bit advanced for me. So I uh, I wasn't able to like succeed in that too. So at that time, like I came to know about Newton School and like I joined Newton School and like uh, they were teaching from very basics. You don't need to uh, know anything uh, uh, before joining. So that was a uh, big advantage for me. I didn't know like, uh, it's a basic data structures like arrays and strings. Right. I didn't have much knowledge about programming, so that helped me a lot. Awesome, Rude. So, uh, Rude, can you tell us a little bit as to how did you prepare for your, uh, you know, admission at Newton School? Were you always uh, ready that okay, there's going to be a little bit of you know coding, and how did you prepare? What was what was your process of preparation to get into Newton School? Yeah, yeah like. Uh, uh, I had uh, good knowledge in uh, like aptitude and everything, and also like basic coding questions. I was able to. I was practicing from hacker ranker and uh, lead code etc. So I was able to crack the admission test. Okay, awesome, awesome, Rude. So Rude, we'll kind of go on to understanding how your experience at Newton School was. Um, yeah. You know. Can you tell me a little bit, you, you just said that you, you knew basics of programming and basics of coding. Um, and then you started learning at Newton School. Um, how was your journey when you started Newton School? Yeah, like the, uh, I liked everything about Newton School actually, like uh, everything from like regular classes and assignments to mentor sessions. Everything was uh, well thought of, and like uh, the only thing is you need to give enough time and work on it, uh, and there uh, you will not face any other problems from the course uh, point of view. So, yeah. so Rude, tell me something. Um, at any point of time, uh, did were you scared or were you worried um, if? You know this step that you've taken and you've come to Newton School. Um, how is that going to be like? How is it going to turn? And how did you deal with that worry? I didn't have much worry as such because uh, it was the pandemic and there was lockdown. I had nothing else to do. 
uh, like uh, I joined Newton School and like uh, I have fixed like uh, whatever happens, I'll make it happen with Newton School. Like uh, I'll work for six months, seven months, or maybe like a couple of extra months, and I'll get placed like that. Awesome, awesome, Rude. So, Rude, I want to know about your experience with your mentors. Uh, you have spoken to me extensively and told me that your experience with your mentors was amazing. Can you give us a little walk through through that? Yeah, uh, mentor sessions were actually very great. My mentor was uh, uh, Soumya. We are we are still like catching up uh, the whole mentor group and along with the mentor sometimes. Like uh, she used to help us a lot. Like even if uh, like we have any personal problems or like even if we had stuck at something she used to help us a lot and uh, also like uh, uh, she used to like uh, do some ds questions for us to solve like uh, together in the mentor session like who, all of us used to solve and even if, like we used to help each other out uh, that was very good awesome awesome um rude one very interesting question that i have for you is uh, did you make friends while you were at newton school because a lot of times we were a little worried as to okay i don't know what's happening or um, am i going to meet people who are going to understand what i'm going through as well what was that experience for you i made a uh, lot of friends actually like the whole mentor group was also close and i made some other uh, friends also from the course like uh, we like uh, catch up now and then even now like we share our experience uh, experiences after like joining a company like how is work what are they working on and, that's uh, that's great that's great to hear um so you know take us a little bit walk us through the fact that you know you worked on a lot of projects when you were at newton school and while you were learning you know programming extensively uh, what were the kind of projects that you took up when you were here i actually like uh, like uh, actually like uh, the assignments which are given to us uh, like the common assignments that i i made sure like i uh, do it on my own and like i didn't do much uh, like personal assignments those were enough actually uh, but what what they in the course curriculum that helped me like understand each and every uh, topic like uh, even like uh, javascript there are some assignments for react there are some assignments like i, I got to know like thoroughly how everything works from the assignment great great so rudey um, you know if you are talking about your skills in terms of um, knowing what you are coding what you are programming and how you are going about uh, solving problems as well um were you were you confident about your skill and if you were what was that one thing that was making you so confident that i can crack it sorry i didn't get so what was that one thing that that made you confident that i know programming now okay uh, like I, I would say the assignments and the projects which are built because like uh, no matter how much theory and concepts you know you won't have clarity like what is happening when you write the code obviously like assignments and uh, like assignments and projects and also like uh, mock interviews made me like more confident with my skills right i was actually coming to mock interviews now um so can you can you tell us a little bit about how you kind of decided how many mock interviews first how many mock interviews did you get i don't actually know like maybe more than 15 or 20 okay okay so in these 15 20 mock interviews that you had given can you tell us um how was the process of you know going through each of these mock interviews were you initially a little scared or how did you kind of you know prepare yourself yeah actually i would say mock interviews are the best part of the course like uh, my skill was like uh, like uh, one thing before mock interview started and after started i saw uh, a lot of improvement in myself like uh, 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 when we attend mock interviews like the fear of the real interview goes away 
slowly and like uh, it, it, when we give a lot of interviews a uh, mock interview what happens is like each and every topic of the concept is covered in some or the other interview and like if when you go to the final interview there is nothing else like uh, which is asked there other than what is covered in the mock interviews so that was very awesome awesome brother so i feel like now um, you were at a juncture where you knew that your your you know uh, programming skills were very good as well as your soft skills your communication and you were able to communicate what you knew um, finally when you went towards your placements um, and finally you knew that okay now companies are going to be uh interviewing me how was that experience like it and were you were you now finally confident that i will be able to get a good job yeah like uh, at the beginning like a couple of interviews went bad actually like uh, i didn't go through even the first uh, first or second rounds but later on like as uh, as the uh, as i've uh, been attending the other interviews i became good and like uh there were a, a lot of companies which offered me as well great great rude so rude i am sure that there are a lot of people like you uh, around us who are watching this as well who have been at your place and who are a little confused um who don't know what are the next steps for themselves uh, can you give us a little bit of a advice for them as to how do they crack a rockstar job as yours Uh, like uh, i think uh, my personal opinion is like uh, uh, consistency is very important and no matter like if you work uh, or even if you work like one hour a day the consistency you have to maintain so that you can get good results at the end that's very true with it consistency is uh the key here um and i'm so happy that you could make time for us today and you know a lot of your friends are also wishing you good luck in the live chat right now um thank you so much for uh joining us today and uh, we'll we'll keep in touch thank you rudai for joining thank you thank you for having me yeah.